one koko ne wakaima. The rooster and the hare by Tales from Uganda. Wanko kone wakaima. <coughs> Awolu atoka. Ede nyonga nchari moto tata wange yambu lido lugeru la wakaima ne wankoko. Ede nyo wakaima ne wankoko bali pa mikuano nyo. Elanga bagenda kusomero bombi nga noku zanya waza nyawe batio. Muna ange olunakulumu. Wanko konga ita wakaima mkwano gwe aja chale ke wawwe. Wakaima na aja na ebi serebi njala yali ya guwa nga teri chakulia. Nga teri nyama teri chakulia chuna 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 nga haba ntimena bia kulia ebi serebi yo. Mama wanko kuna mugamba haa. Nenga tuina mmele tunakula tutia mkwano gwe kubaze anahali achi. Kakati wanko kuna avulira mkwano gwe wakaima. Nti agenda kusala kuguru kwe kwa baba ya chemi sana. Wakai manalo uza nti wanko kwa yale alimba kwa yale inga asaga saga nyo. Munange wanko kwa nga agende ili mkayumba muka ni yekwe keyo yeka. Kuguru kwa nga kuteka mbi wa watiro. Na akumaono kuguru kumunga wenye la. Wakama uya mula ba nalo uza e mkwanu guya lasa zeko kuguru. Kakati wanko kwa vya janga wenye la. Yale afunye chisambe chile chenkoko Dia chija yona yona teri yao yale amanyi Kakati nga chile tanga bafumba Ah, wakama nasa nyuka nyo Elai chenkoko ya muome la Nali chisambe che Nga wanko kela kweso kuguru kwe mbi wawatilo Kakati duwa liolo Wakama na yenga ita wanko ke wawwe Kagamba wai mkwano guangono kolo ya Yampite wawwe ni wafumbire mmele Nange kamuite Ah Nga wanko kwa agenda. Enjala ere wabaka ima na hii ya guanga. Tere icha akulia. Katibu wanko kwa watuka. Waka ima neni ero. Na gamba hii mkwanu guangono mfumbi dechi. Akwalo ya nsalida kwa kuguru kwe. Na kufumba. Na nga ngenen sale kwa kuange. Waka ima nga agenda mchiyungu. Nga afuna kambi. Nga gama mama we. Ngenda kusala kwa kuguru kwange. Kituwa tufumba. Mama ina mugamba ne kulacho sala kwa kuguru kwa wandi vile se. Ne tuja kuno nye chintu na chintu na afumba. Wakama na gamba ne da. Mkwano guangono wanko kukolo ya afumbiro kuguru kwe. Na ngenda kumufumbiro kwa nge. Ah, wakai manga agenda muka yumba. Nga sala kwa kuguru kwe. Wakai maria kusala kwa kuguru wati. Omusayene guja mungi nyo. Mama wakai manaduka. Na nageza kwa kumusivu kuguru Gule kero kujuo musai nenga Tiba sobola Era wakai maonange unalavira anga afude Na anga unalavira Olugeo lunolutuwe choku yega Nchi omuntu omusiru yeka ya kopele la chata manye Ngataso se kwebuza Haa Mwaya galamba sumeri muluzungu kati The rooster and the hare. Awoluatuka. <coughs> oh, once upon a time. Many years ago, when I was just a little boy, my father told me a story about a young hare and a young rooster. Now listen close in case you learn something. A long time ago, a young rooster and a young hare were great friends. They attended primary school together and were often seen in the village playing games together. One day, the rooster invited the hare to his compound for dinner. Mama rooster was worried what she would cook to serve to her guests. Uganda was going through a difficult time as no one was able to get meat. My mother has nothing to cook for us. There is no meat, the rooster said. Let me cut off one of my legs and my mother will prepare some lunch for us. Young Hare started salivating thinking of eating a chicken's leg for lunch. He was hungry, but he believed his friend the rooster was joking around like normal. However, when the rooster came out of the hut, he was limping on one leg. 
Little did Heya know the rooster had hidden his leg under his wing. The Heya felt so awful that the rooster had gone to so much pain for his sake. But the smell of the chicken leg cooking was too much to bear. He ate up all the meat and the soup leaving nothing in a bowl. Sometime later, the Heya returned the favor and invited the rooster to his house. Mama Heya greeted the boys but did not have anything to cook. The Heya explained to the rooster that as Uganda was going through a bad time, there was no meat to cook. He would have to sacrifice his leg to feed the rooster. Before rooster had chance to argue back, the Heya had rushed away and was already putting his plan in place. Heya ran to his mother and asked her to sharpen the knife to cut off his leg. She argued that she would not cut off her son's leg, but Heya argued until she took the knife and amputated his leg. Heya started to bleed very badly and they were unable to stop the blood. Rooster saw the Heya's blood and ran away as fast as he could using both his legs. Heya cried and cried that he had been so silly and died shortly after. This is the end of the story. And as we say in Luganda, Nangao Wenalavira. And for me, that is what I saw all those years ago. The moral of the story is only the foolish blindly copy others without questioning their actions. Let's go to bed now. Sulav Lunji. Good night. See you next time for another bedtime story with Tata Musa.